Kat here to look at some information to do with binary. Computers are devices that deal with electricity. Electricity has two states. It can be either off or it can be on. And that flows through into the way that computer memory works with things being magnetized or not magnetized and storing those values 0 and 1. We're going to look at how that flows through and to the to the representation of numbers. So we're going to look at how to convert binary to decimal and decimal back to binary. When working with binary numbers, I typically deal with 8 bits of information. 1, 0 or 1 is 1 bit of information. Most of the time we deal with bytes and 1 byte is 8 bits of information. So we're going to look at a string of 8 bits and see how that can convert. So let's say we have the binary string 01001001 and I'm just picking a number at random here. How do we know how that converts to decimal? Well, each of those items has a place value. I haven't quite made that fit very well. But basically, if we line all of these up, we can see their place values. I've just tidied that one up a little bit there. And for me to convert this one, all I have to do then is add them up. So I say, are there any 128s? No, there aren't, so I'll ignore it. There is a 64 there, so I take the 64. I'm adding that together with, there are no 32s, no 16s, there is an 8. So I'm adding that to my 8. There are no 4s, no 2s, and there is a 1. So I'm going to add that up. So 64 plus 8 is 72, plus 1 is 73. So is it? it's really just as simple as saying, add together all the numbers where a 1 occurs. So a 1 is saying yes, and a 0 is saying no. If you're thinking, well, how am I going to remember what the different place values are? If you start at the right and you start with 1, double 1 is 2, double 2 is 4, double 4 is 8, double 8 is 16, double 16 is 32, double 32 is 64, double 64 is 128, double 128 is 256, and so on. So if you can't remember that scale, start at 1, work to the left and double everything. Let's try converting another number. Okay, let's convert 1001101. Okay, so which numbers do I have? I've got a 128, a 16, an 8, and a 1. So 128 plus 16 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 153. Let's try another one. Um, let's go 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, let's go through looking for the 1s. No 128s. We've got 64, 32, 16, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, and a 2. So 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 2 is equal to 114. I just want to make a quick note here as well. If you ever have a zero in the rightmost column, in the ones position, you know that it is going to be an even number. If you've got a one in there, you know that it is going to be an odd number. Because that one is the only thing that can tip you into odd or even. Everything else is a multiple of 2, and all multiples of 2 are even. So only that little 1 there will actually tip you into an odd number. It's not necessarily something that is always helpful, but sometimes it's nice to just remember that little bit of information. Another gem of information I have for you. Uh, let's have a look at the number 00000111. Now I know that this is 7. Okay, so if I add 4 and 2, I get 6. And add 1 to that, I get 7. The quicker and easier way for me to figure that out is that it is 8 minus 1. 
any time I have a number where from the right to the left it is all ones up until a certain point, I always know it is one less than the first zero. Another quick example of that is let's go zero zero one 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 and I know that this one is 63. I want you to grab a calculator, add it up and double check that one. Now test out your newfound binary knowledge by grabbing a piece of paper and a pen and just write down random series of zeros and ones, maybe stick to eight bits of information at a time and convert those to decimal. See how you go and if you need to double check your answers then you can Google it and there are lots of different translator programs that will allow you to key in your binary and get the decimal solution. Only do that to cross check because converting binary to decimal is a really great skill to have.